Keyframing is something that most animators learn early on, and video editors. To explain what a keyframe is, it marks an individual spot in the timeline so that you could do a transition. And what I want to do is make the words the end get smaller after it fades in. So I'll go to where I think it starts, and it's very helpful to use the previous frame so I could see a little bit of the child, and next frame until I see the words the end pop in. Also, be very sure that you check you're on the proper layer. And I'm going to expand my timeline so I can see all of my layers. Now, I'm ready to keyframe. I'll click the triangle to the left of text to expand the keyframe options I have. And in this case, I want to transform the size. But you could do layer styles, anything you see under FX. You could do opacity create your own transitions to fade in and out, or even warping text. But transform makes size adjustments or rotation adjustments, anything you could do under Edit, Transform. So to start the transition, I'm going to click the stopwatch to the left of Transform. Once I mark this size and the starting position, I'll drag my playhead to the end. And I need to put in another keyframe so it knows to go from the big marked spot to the smaller size that we're going to set. So I'll click the little diamond to the left of Transform to put in a second keyframe. And now, as long as my The End text is selected, I should be able to choose Edit. Free Transform. Now, if you want to drag to make this bigger or smaller, it's important to always hold down Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows. Option or Alt make sure you go from center out so it looks like it's growing or shrinking. Shift with Option or Alt would keep it proportional. But I want to type in a percentage. So up in the bar across the top, I'll make the proportions the same, meaning my width and height will be exact by clicking Maintain Aspect Ratio. And I'll double click the width, type 10, press Return or Enter twice. The first time I hit Return or Enter, it accepted the 10%. The second time, it finished the transformation. And then I will scrub my playhead back and pick a spot to play from. So I'll leave my playhead here, hit the play button, and see if my text is in fact shrinking on the way out. Excellent. Now you may have noticed a color shift. I had done two adjustment layers on a color correction video track. Well, because I added the end and the title text after color correcting, it didn't know to play that color correction for the whole time. So here's a quick fix. I could simply drag my photo filter layer up and let go, and it shows up on the timeline. I'll extend it to where the end starts. I'll do the same with levels. Drag it up and extend it. And I can delete or trash this color correction video group. I really don't need it. Photo filter and levels will apply to everything below it, and everything below it is this video group one. So I will hit my trash can. And I'll scrub back a little bit further, actually to the beginning. Let's just hit go to the first frame and hit play. Computer images have two types, vector and vector. Vector images will obey up from pixels. Vector images are made up from points. And there we have it. A fully finished, color corrected, edited movie that is now ready for publishing. I hope you experiment with keyframes 
and really gather the power it gives you for transitions and enlargements or reductions or effects in your own video.